Good morning to everybody watching. The boom is on. I'm going to wait a couple of minutes. This is my take five. And today I want to bring you a five minutes thereabouts word on a simple subject. It's done. Good morning, Donna Marie Mendez. Good morning, Norma Gale. Good morning, Colin April. Good morning to y'all. Yes, I'm dealing with the subject. It's done. I'm going to wait until I get uh, two, three more people on. I start with 10. Once I get to 10, that's all she wrote. If 10 of us can't do anything, we should be whipped. <laughs> One shall chase a thousand. Two shall put 10,000 to flight. Three shall chase a hundred thousand. Four shall chase a million. Norma Gale in the house. <laughs> you got to leave me alone today. You had me laughing yesterday. I nearly lost my trend of thought. <laughs> Here comes the kitchen sink. Oh, that was, that was precious. That's what you need to do in life. If you're going to win, you're going to have to win big. You've got to go for it. You can't be casual because if you're casual, you're going to be a casualty. <laughs> oh, bless the Lord. And for those of you asking, why are you laughing so much? The woman said, I saw you there. You look so serious. And all of a sudden you took off laughing. I wonder, I wonder if he's... Hey, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Catherine Caesar, Marshall Peters, Roxanne Bardswell, am I seeing right? Is that you? <laughs> Roxanne Bardswell Lambert, that's my wife's cousin. How are you doing, cuz? Marcus McCoy, Annie Reed. All right, we're going to start with Annie Reed. Good morning to everybody. I'm just going to say good morning now. So those who come on later on and say good morning, if you don't hear me say good morning, don't think I've lost my manners. I still had brought ups. Means my parents taught me manners. Good morning. Excuse me. Please. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay. Here we go. Lisa Marie Adams. Hi. How are you doing? Say hi to your dad for me. Karen Marshall Burnett. God bless. It's done. That's my subject for today. It's done. That means the project is finished, it's complete, there is nothing that you have to add to it, there is nothing that you have to take from it, it's done. But the question is, when is it done? When is it really done? Because sometimes you hear people say, oh, I finished that thing, you know, and when you go, they haven't started. <laughs> You're wondering, I've got to sell this person a bridge, an invisible bridge. You know, remember the king, the emperor had no clothes and he went around. Uh, the king's new robe was all together and all together and all together. The most remarkable shade of green that I have ever seen. Somebody sent for the queen. And the queen came and the song came back. Now the king's new robe was all together until a little boy saw him and said, ah, that guy has no clothes. He's naked. Then everybody was ashamed. When is it done? All right. And I'm going to tell you when it's done because I'm going to give you five times when it's done. Five times when it's done. So what are you talking about? I thought it was done one time. Well, listen to a brother. It's done when it's finished on paper. When you have the architect and the draftsman and all those people who are into construction, the technical people, the skilled people, the trained people. When they draw that thing up, when all of the specifics are done in writing, done in painting, done in the blueprint, and they're going to take that to the, to the government officials who are in charge of that particular thing, area, project. And then they're going to put their stamp of approval or make some minor changes here and there. But when it's done on paper, when it's finished on paper, it's done. That's the first time it's done. All right. But before it's done on paper, it's done somewhere else. It's done there first. Psychogenesis. Psychogenesis psychogenesis psycho of the mind genesis the beginning beginning in the mind the beginning of the mind it all starts in the mind and once you can mentalize it then you can materialize it if you can think it up then you can think it down let me say that again if you can mentalize it you can materialize it and if you can think it up 
You can think it down. It's always done in the mind before it's done anywhere else. The thought comes to you. In the beginning was the word. What is the word? The word is the expression of an idea. So in the beginning, God had an idea. He was going to create heaven and earth, create the world, ya, ya, re, re. It was done in his mind before it was done out here. Christ Jesus was slain, the scripture says, from the foundation of the world. Whoa! It was in God's mind a long time before it was manifested in the flesh. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. So number one, it's done on paper before it's done. Number two, it's done in the mind. And number two is really number one. <laughs> That's where it always starts. It starts in the mind. If you can think it up, you can think it down. Yes. And then, uh, it's done a third time when the contractor does it on the site, on the work site. When they go and get the heavy duty equipment, when they start digging out the mud, digging out the bricks, digging out the foundation, when they're going to cast the foundation, cast the beams and the columns, and when they're going to set up the walls and the roof and the electrician will come and the plumber will come and uh, the painter will come and all of these other people that need to get this project finished, 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 finished in the physical realm, when they do it on the work site, that's when it's done. So one, it's done in the mind. Two, it's done on paper. And three, it's done on the work site. Number four, when is it done? I'm glad you asked. Of course, you didn't ask, but I'm saying I'm glad you asked. It's done when you're so far ahead that you can't get caught and time is running out. There are sometimes I watch the uh, basketball game and sometimes you can tell from the way the players come on the field. Before the game has even started, you can tell. There's a certain mannerism. There's a certain way. There's a certain look that some teams have. And some teams come to the place with their bottom lip on the floor, dragging. They've already been psyched out. They've already told themselves they can't win. They've already bought in to the, to the drama that this team is unbeatable. And, and once they have convinced themselves that they can't win, it's just a matter of time before they lose. But they've lost already in their mind. The game is already over before it has started. However, there are some teams that decide we're going to give them a run for their money. We're going to go down to the wire. It's going to be photo finish. We're going to fight like a mangy dog to get this bone up in here. But when you get so far ahead, any team, when they get far ahead and they can't be caught, when the time is too limited for the opposing team to catch up in terms of the, of the points, then it's done. But the game is not finished. The game has, has five more minutes. But the other team has built up so much momentum. They have built up so many points that they are, it's impossible to catch them now because time is running out. It's impossible, given the time, to score that amount of points to overtake the team that has gone ahead. And so it's done when someone is far ahead and they can't be caught. Time is running out. That's number four. That's the fourth time it's done. When else is it done? I'm, yo, you're so smart today. You're asking all these bright questions. It's done when you have convinced your enemy that they can't win. In other words, it's done not when you're ahead of points, but when you have psyched them out. Not when you're ahead in point, but when you have psyched them out. When you have told them you, you can't win. You, you <laughs> Remember George Foreman and Muhammad Ali in Zaire? When the people were crying, Ali Boumaye, Ali Boumaye. Well, George Foreman went to ask, him, what do they mean, Ali Boumaye? And the guy said, you don't want to know what it means. He said, yes, of course I want to know what it means. I'm the fiercest puncher in the game. I'm going to knock him out. Why are they saying Ali Boumaye? I'm the dark-skinned African. He's a fierce-skinned. Why are they picking him instead of picking me? I, I look like them. And the man said, George, you sure you want to know? Yes, I want to know. What, are they, what does it mean, Ali Boumaye? So well, Ali Boumaye means Ali, kill him. <laughs> and George got angrier and angrier and angrier and angrier. And at certain points of the fight, George hit Ali. He said, I hit him so hard, I felt my shoulder hurt. I had never hit a human being that hard. And he said, I looked at Ali after I'd given him that wicked punch. 
and he smiled at me, Ali. He smiled at me, and he said, George, my grandmother hits harder than that. <laughs> Woo-wee! And then George said, I wondered, what else do I have to do to knock this guy out? And at that time, Ali was looking at him, and George dropped his head, and he looked to the floor. As I would say his bottom lip hit the pave. And Ali said, at that moment, I knew it was done. Was the fight finished? No. Did Ali knock him out? No. Was George behind in points? No. But George lost that fight because he was psyched out when Ali's grandmother <laughs> could hit harder than George could hit. And so when you've convinced your enemy that they can't win, after you've taken their best shot, it's done. It's done when you've frustrated them to the point that they think they can't win even though they're ahead. Look at Holyfield. Look at Tyson. Tyson was a vegetarian all those years until he saw Holyfield's ears and he thought to himself, I better get me a piece of meat. I need meat to survive. <laughs> Bit the man, piece of the man's ear off. Why? Because he was frustrated. He was hitting a man that was hitting back. He was hitting a man that was not afraid of him. He was hitting a man that hadn't bought into the nonsense that, that Iron Mike Tyson, that he was invincible. Anybody can be beat. You asked Buster Douglas in Japan. Anybody can get their tail whooped. There's no such thing as an unbeatable man. Every man is made of flesh and blood and bone like every other man. And you can win. You can pull it off. Yes. And so I'm saying to you, that whatever it is that you are going to manifest in this life, whatever it is that you are going to do, you've got to finish that thing in your mind and finish that thing on paper before you go out there and finish that thing in the world. I've gone to some building sites. I love to see when buildings go up. And I see them dig all that mud when they're doing the foundation. They throw all that. It's just a bunch of mess. And there's a beautiful picture on the fence that they have done in living color. And they say on the paper, coming soon. And you look at the mess and you think, that building is coming soon? Yes. In their mind, it's done. In their mind, it's finished on paper. In their mind, they had the nerve to draw that beautiful 10-story, 20-story building on that thing there. And in, as far as they're concerned, it is done. And sometimes, due to time and busyness of life, I don't pass by there for the next two, three weeks. And lo and behold, when I pass this time, sometimes I have to pull over, grab my, uh, my camera, and take a picture of the thing that was A, coming soon, but now it's done. Yes, there are times in a game when some player gets hot and he can't miss that three-point throw. He keeps doing it again and again. I saw Vince Carter do that once. Every time he was at a three-point place, he would shoot and he would score. And I, I said to myself, whoa, this game is finished. It's done. Why? It's done because Vince is on fire. It's done because Vince Carter has the hot hand. It's done because he's in the mood tonight. He's not going to take no prisoners and there will be no pause for commercial breaks. And there are times in the fight of life, in the game of life, when you have built up momentum, when you have made up in your mind that ain't nothing going to stop you now. When you have said to yourself, I'm going to lose at some point in life, but tonight is not one of those times. I refuse to die now. I refuse to cry uncle. I refuse to quit. I'm going to win this thing. I don't care what they say. I don't care how far behind I am. Tonight is my night. This is my day. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm not going to lose tonight. I'm not going to go down tonight. My anthem will be played. I'm going, my arms are going to be raised in victory. Look, I'm in a bad mood and I'm going to take out everyone that comes against me. I don't care what kind of obstacles and roadblocks they've put up against me. Not tonight. I'm going to run through a troop. I'm going to leap over a wall. I got my slingshot and Goliath's head is too big to miss. I'm going to take that sucker out tonight. Today, I'm going to beat him. Invincible, my foot. I'm going to show Mr. Invincible that there's a chink in his armor and I have found that chink. Here I come. I shall not be moved like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water. Yes, I'm saying to you, it's done. What's done, Rev? That plan that you have to, to, to manifest that business, it's done. 
What's done? That church that you have that's giving you all kinds of trouble. It's done. What's done? That child that's all up in your Kool-Aid and they don't even know your flavor. <laughs> I'm saying it's done because you have the momentum. I'm saying it's done because psychogenesis is already taking place. You have manifested it in your mind. You have made it in your mind. You have the, the drawing down. The blueprint is finished already. The government has given you the permission. You have the cash in hand. Or if you don't have the cash, you have the faith. Ain't no stopping you now. You're on the move. You got that right you got that right and i'm saying it's done but it's not done it's done it's done because it's done in your head it's done because it's done on paper it's done because of your mood it's done because of your attitude it's done because of your state of mind it's done because you have reached that invincible streak and you have told yourself and told the suckers out there who have tried to take you out that you shall not be beaten not tonight. You're going to give that devil a war. You're standing strong. You're standing tall. Your left hand is going. Your right hand is going. You're throwing blows like never before. The fight is already finished in your mind. It is done. It is done. It is done before it's manifest, before they sing your anthem, before everything else has been said and done. Only you know and God knows that this is a fight you have won already before the they rang the bell before the referee says, let's get it on. You knew that day. You knew that night that tonight you are going to bring your thunder, your lightning. You're going to be frightening. You're going to be devastating because tonight you're invincible. Tonight you're unstoppable. Tonight you're unbeatable. Hey, I'm feeling this right now. I'm talking to somebody out there. You have taken the blows of life. You've been thrown on top of your head again and again. They have mocked you. They have laughed you when you were done. They kick you in the teeth. And they have told you you will never do it. You're the one I'm talking to. You've got to get, get off your feet. Now. Get up, get up. Pick up your bottom lip from the floor. And you point to yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, it is done. Yeah, the boom is out. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Now go do it. 